Asante. Mtazamaji kama ulivyosikia niko na mzazi na wazazi wengi wamejitokeza kufurahi pamoja na watoto wao wakiwa wanamaliza standard 7 katika shule hii. Shule hii ni moja kati ya shule ya English medium ambapo wamemaliza mtihani wao ambapo mtihani wao walikuwa wakifanya kwa lugha ya Kiingereza. Karibu mzazi. Nashukuru sana kwa majina ninaitwa Hamisi Chuma Mwandenuka. Ni diwani mteule nilipita bila kupingwa katika Karoleni Tunduma. Hususan mimi nawakilisha lango la Sadek pale Tunduma. Ni kweli leo nimefika hapa kwenye shuhuri kama mnavyoiona hapa ya mtoto wangu Kristiani Hamisi ambaye anahitimu siku ya leo darasa la 7. Ndio ndugu mtangazaji. Asante. Baba tumeona Christian akiwa anamaliza darasa la saba na huu ni mwanzo tu tukisema kwa hatua ya kielimu ni hatua ya kwanza. Umejipangaje katika hatua zingine zinazofuata kwa ajili ya Christian? E, kwa kweli nimejipanga. Mimi binafsi napenda watoto wangu wasome. Kwa sababu kizazi cha leo mtoto kutokuwa na elimu ni shida. Hawezi kufanya jambo lolote. Nimejipanga vizuri. Nitahakikisha mtoto wangu akitoka hapa naenda kumtafutia shule za za kujifunza pre form 1 ili akishajifunza nitafute shule nzuri mtoto wangu aendelee na masomo ya kidato cha kwanza ndio ndugu mtangazaji Asante Christian ni mmoja kati ya watoto wako ni mtoto wangapi katika familia e, ni mtoto wa tatu ni mtoto wa tatu na kilicho nisukuma sana kwa sababu leo nimefika hapa lakini sikuwa vizuri sana kiafya kilicho nisukuma mtoto huyu amepita kwenye mapito magumu sana tangu anazaliwa alikuwa ni mtoto ambaye anaumwa umwa mara kwa mara E, ikafikia mpaka mtoto sasa hivi kafika hapa nikaona haina budi japo mimi mwenyewe siko vizuri kiafa lakini lazima kwa leo ni uzurie ma ma maafari ya mtoto wangu asante sana Aa, umesema christian ni mtoto ambaye amepita katika mazingira fulani nyuma alikuwa anaumwa maendeleo yake umejaribu kukagua na kujua ana ana maendeleo gani kitaaluma ah kitaaluma christian yuko vizuri na ninategemea mazuri Majibu ya kisha toka kutoka baraza la mitiana tegemea mazuri. Kwa sababu mtoto mwenyewe. Hamesoma kaibu madalasa matatu. Mana alikuwa na luka. Kasoma la kwanza, la tatu, la tano na la saba. Madalasa mingina jagusa kufatana na jinsi ya ufamu wake na upe wake alio kwa nao shuleni. Asante sana. Kwa walimu wanaweza kusema hiyo likitu ni talented and gifted. Watoto wenye uwezo mkubwa huwa wanaluka darasa moja lingine wanalushwa kutokana na uwezo wao kuwa mkubwa zaidi. A, kuna tukio limefanyika pale baba tumeona tukio la kitofauti na kwako linaweza kuwa ni kawaida lakini kwa wazazi wengine na halaiki nyingine ya watu inaweza kuwa ni tukio la kipekee ni tukio la kugawa zawadi kwa watumishi wote wa shule hii huo moyo na hiyo nia ilikuja tangia lini unajua ndugu mtangazaji tunapozungumzia neno sadaka sadaka sio hela sadaka ni vito mvya aina mbalimbali Hawa wenzetu wanatu, wanatutunzia watoto katika mazingira mazuri sana. Wajua mwalimu ana kazi ngumu sana. Kukaa na mtoto wako kwa umri wa miaka yote hii saba ni safari ndefu sana. Kuna wengine watoto wameshindwa, walikuwa wanasoma lakini hawakubahatika kufikia malengo ya mwanangu. Kilicho ni sukuma mimi pamoja na mke wangu, hii mke wangu alishaweka ni sadaka. Pale anapotokea maafari ya watoto akishamaliza shule basi kuwashukuru wale waliokuwa na watunza watoto wetu. Maana sisi mtoto wetu tumemkuta katika ya usalama kama vile tulivyo mtoa nyumbani kuja hapa kuja hapa shuleni kusoma. Kwa hiyo hii hii tabia mke wangu amekuwa akifanya mara kwa mara shule mbalimbali. Alishafanya shule ma, ya mapsi huko ambao wanaendana na hawa shule tuliopo hapa. Akafanya shule ya iko songwe pale. Inaitwa Shining. Inaitwa Shining ndio. Na alifanya zoezi kama ile. Kwa hiyo mambo haya huwa yanajitokeza mara kwa mara na ni sadaka kwa pande yetu tunachukua kama ni sadaka tu. Asante sana. Hongereni sana kwa moyo wenu maana nilipokuwa nimekaa nimesikia wazazi wengine wanasema mm, hata mimi siwezi maana wanasema kutoa ni moyo sio ukiwa nacho tu lakini ule moyo mlionao katika kuwa support na kuwa kuwachangia walimu kwa chochote kama shukrani kwa Mungu wenu na kwa wanadamu pia. Ndiyo. Aa, neno lako kwa Christian kwa hatua hii aliyoifikia sasa. Yaani ujumbe wangu tunasema wembe ni ule ule na zungumza haya kwa sababu ya nini? mtoto tumeshamwandaa kisaikolojia kwa ajili ya kuendelea na shule na mara nyingi neno langu ni ile ile moja tu kwamba watoto wasitegemee tulicho nacho au wasitegemee mali zangu mimi na mke wangu ulisi wa watoto wangu mimi ni elimu kwa hiyo namuomba Mungu siku na mchana kwamba malengo yale ambayo niliyokuwa nayo juu ya watoto wangu yafikie kama Mungu alivyopanga na Mungu anavyotaka ili mwanangu ajafikie ndoto anazozihitaji
Asante. Umeanza hapo mwanzo kujitambulisha kama ni mmoja wa watumishi wa serikali. Na wazazi wengi wa Tanzania sasa hivi wanafikiri kwamba elimu ni bure. Ni Ndiyo. bure elimu bure na wanaachilia kila kitu kwa serikali. Unawashauri nini wazazi wengine hata wanaosomesha wana watoto zao katika shule za kawaida? Ni kweli ningependa tu kuambia kitu kimoja ni kwamba serikali na majukumu mengi sana. Mheshimiwa Rais alishazungumza kwamba elimu ni bure kuanzia darasa la kwanza mpaka kidato cha nne. Lakini tunakuwa tuna, tuna mambo mbalimbali ambayo yanaingia katikati. Shule ni nyingi Tanzania. Na uhitaji ni mwingi. Lakini unakuta kuna sehemu kuna sehemu pesa serikali inaweza kachelewa kidogo lakini sisi kama viongozi sasa wa serikali kwa tunakana ndugu zetu ambao tuko nao kule ndugu na jamaa moja kwa masishana kwamba kama serikali itakuwa imechelewesha pesa au mahitaji muhimu basi wa tunachangishana hizi ndogo ndogo unaweza kachangisha za madeski au za kuanzia misingi na nini lakini serikali ikija inamalizia pale kwa hiyo nikuwa naomba tu ndugu zangu kwamba tuendelee kumunga mheshimiwa rais mkono Mheshimiwa John Pombe Magufuli. Kazi anazofanya ni nzuri sana. Zamaji wa DSS TV nimekutana na mama mzazi wa Chris atajitambulisha kwa majina utamfahamu. Karibu mama. Na kutokea Tunduma. Asante. Mama leo ni siku muhimu kwa ajili ya Chris. Anamaliza darasa la saba ambayo ni standard 7 kwa shule yao wanasoma Kiingereza. Uh, mama unajisikiaje kwa siku ya leo akiwa Chris kama mtoto wako? Nina furaha kubwa sana na mshukuru Mungu kunifikisha siku ya leo. Nina furaha sana. Asante. Neno lako kwa Chris katika siku ya leo tunajua una jukumu lingine la kuendelea kumsaidia hata hapo atakapofikia elimu ya juu. Mimi sila yangu kwa mwanangu na kwa watoto wengine wote waliomaliza elimu ya msingi darasa la saba. Ni kuwaombea ni kwamba wametoka chekechea sasa ndio wanakwenda kuanza rasmi masomo yao. Asante mama lakini tumeona kuna kitu cha tofauti nyie kama familia mmekifanya kwa ajili ya walimu kama kuwapa pongezi na hongera kwa kazi ngumu wanaoifanya katika kuwafundisha hawa watoto unawaambia nini wazazi wengine maana wengine wanaona ni kitu cha ajabu Mimi kama mzazi nawachukulia walimu kama ni sehemu ya familia sababu namleta mtoto akiwa na miaka minne sielewi hata tabia zake namchukua akiwa ame kamilika ni mtu mzima miaka kumi na mbili namchukua leo kwa hiyo walimu nawapa vitu kwa moyo wote nje ya dada tunalipa milioni tatu kwa mwaka lakini kwa mapenzi yangu kwao kama mzazi huaga na tabia yangu sio kwa huyu mtoto Kristo ni kwa watoto wangu wote na tabia kuongeza walimu kama nao ni moja ya familia yangu Asante neno lako kwa wazazi ambao wao bado hawajafikia kuwa na moyo huu wa kuathamini wali mimi nawaombea wazazi wenzangu wakibarikiwa wawakumbuke walimu kwa sababu walimu wana nguvu kubwa kila kitu kila aliyepita na aliyefika lazima amepitia shule kwa hiyo walimu wana kazi ngumu sana tuwapende tukibarikiwa Mungu akituinua basi tupondeke mioyo tu tunawakumbuka Asante mama pia katika sherehe hii ya ujawa mwenyewe wamekuja ndugu jamaa na marafiki kushiriki pamoja na wewe katika siku hii muhimu kwa ajili ya Chris neno lako kwao Neno langu kwao kwanza kwa mwanangu Chris niliona sio vema akashiriki peke yake nilichukua watoto wanne yatima nimekuja nao hapa Mbeya kuja kuwakilisha wapo hapo wamevaa sale zao niliwashonea kwa ajili ya kushiriki na mwenzao na vile vile baada ya ishi ile nitakwenda kwenye kituo cha watoto yatima kwenda kula nao chakula cha pamoja na watoto mjio wacha Asante sana mama. Tumeona moyo mkuu wa upendo katika vitu vingi ambavyo unaendelea kufanya kwa jamii. Aa, tunakushukuru sana na sisi kama DSS tunasema hongera sana na uendelee kuwa na moyo huu wa upendo hata kwa watoto wengine ambao umesema umekuja nao hapa sijui kama ninaweza nikawaona kuzungumza nao baadhi yao Wapo, watoto. Ya mzeme, wako asante asante. Basi DSS tunaendelea kuwafuata hawa watoto tukapate kufurahi pamoja nao japo waone kwa picha kwa sababu wanasema watoto ni wetu sote. Watoto hawa wameshiriki furaha pamoja na mtoto mwenzao. Wanajisikia vizuri. Jamii inapaswa kuiga tukio hili. Limekuwa ni la upendo na zaidi ya upendo pia ni baraka hata Mungu mwenyewe anafurahi. Asante. Mtazamaji wa DSS TV nimekutana na Christian ambaye ndiye mtainiwa anamaliza standard 7.
uh, kwa yeye ameomba kutumia anatakiwa kutumia lugha ya Kiingereza kwa sababu shule yao muda mwingi wanatumia kuzungumza Kiingereza. Karibu atajitambulisha utamsikia. Christian, yes. you're welcome. By my names by name I'm called Christian Amis Mwandenuka. I come from a school called God's Bridge Maris English Medium Schools. Okay, it's your last time now. You are completing your studies at standard 7 and this is the we say that it's just a simple celebration for you. It's a graduation. How do you feel on this special day to you? I feel I feel better because when I was starting my studies in class 7, somewhere I saw that the journey goes that different and goes difficult but at the time was going on studying hard and the results came go good so I knew that my life ch changes into good not as past. Okay, thank you. Can we get your past short history of your studies from standard 1 or from kindergarten up to now? My short history is I, my brother and my sister were, stud were studying at MAPS. Then after studying up at MAPS and also I decided to tell my parents that they should shift me when I did not start school to MAPS. So I started to maps class one, class two. Then when I reached class two, my I was having much knowledge. So the academic performance saw, saw that it was good and my results were good. I stood at at least three months. Then they took me to class three. Then after class three I went class four. After class four, I went class I, they shifted me again. I asked them to shift me. Then they shifted me to a place where a good education is found at Gosbridge to Kuyu. So when I went at Gosbridge to Kuyu is when my performing was becoming better. And when it was becoming better, so they, was, they were choosing that uh, some people should be, because here at this school there were no people at Gosbridge Mbaliz. So they chose that they should shift some of the people from Tukuyu to here. But, uh, we we were sad because we thought that they have uh, they have put us aside that if we are we are not having courage that we are not having mind. Okay. So when we came here, we we were studying hard, working at time, evening prep and morning prep. But as the time went, we became the first in Moko in Moffet, then in National Pre Nectar we became the fourth. Okay, congratulations for those good performers and I think you are much talented and gifted from God. So it's, it's, it's few or a little and few children who skip grades. How many grades you skip when you are studying? Only one. Only one? Which yes. grade? Class two, which I studied only three months. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, for this special day, you see that family and other guardians, they are here for celebrating with you. What can you say to them as to give them thanks for this special day for you? I can give thanks to them by attending my graduation, which I've been studying here at school for seven months because without, for seven years, because without them, I I would not have this graduation, so they have come to represent me. So I thank them. I thank them for that. Okay, uh, for the future days coming soon, you are going to attend pre-form one. You are going to be form one, and you are going to continue your secondary education. How do you prepare yourself to be at the place of this good performance? In case you have going to form one and form two. I've prepared myself to start pre-form one, then to studying hard, working hard, not praying, not using most of the time to pray. Then after studying hard and encouraging, and by using faith that if you pray to God, He will answer us. So I'm encouraging myself that when I go to these upper classes, I will study hard, and I know that my parents will give me a that I should not end there, I should go up more. Who you want to be in the next coming future? 
I want to be a doctor. Why a doctor? Because I love science. You love science? Yes. Congratulations. I have a nice time to meet you and it's my pleasure to meet you. Congratulations once again. We as DSS, we congratulate you for this big stage and special day for you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Tazamaji kama unavyoona tulikuwa tukitumia lugha ya kigeni kidogo lakini ni ni mtoto aliyeandaliwa vizuri kusema kweli Christian ni mtoto anayetambua anataka kuwa nani yuko katika wakati gani kwa hiyo ni kuwa si nyie wazazi wengine ambao mna watoto kama Christian kuendelea kuwa pamoja nao mtoto huyu tunasema ni gifted and talented amebahatika kuluka madarasa mengine kutokana na kuwa na uwezo mkubwa wa kuperform vizuri katika mitiani yake ulikuwa nami Violet Sanga nyuma ya kamera niko na Tito Balama na Sadiki Sanga Leo mama ame, amekuletea ndugu zako hawa hawa wenyewe wametoka katika kituo uko wanalelewa na mama ameonyesha ame upendo kwa kuja nao hapa kwa ajili ya ya kusherehekea pamoja na wewe wewe hilo unalizungumziaje unamwambia nini mama kwa upendo huo alionyesha je wewe umejifunza nini nimejifunza mimi mwenyewe hata tikuja kwa maisha yetu au na kazi zetu tujiendeleze na moyo kama wanaofanya wazazi wetu kutuletea ndugu zetu maana katika sherehe ni sehemu ambayo ndugu rafiki na jamaa huenda kukutana wenda walikuwa wajuani na inakuwa ni siku ya kwanza kujuana kwa hiyo ninamshukuru mama kwa moyo wake wa upendo pia na ndugu wenye, wengine waliojikusanya hapa kwa ajili ya kushereka na mimi namuomba Mungu aniendeleze niwe na moyo kama wa mama Asante ndugu zako hawa wanne siku nyingine ukiwakuta utawakumbuka nitawakumbuka Ongera sana na Mungu akusaidie pia uwe na moyo huo huo kama alionao mama